welcome back to my little corner of the internet. For today's video, we're gonna do a what I eat in a day quarantine edition. Today is day three of my self-isolation. Um, the third day that I have not had to go to work and I've been working on other projects from home to keep me busy, although they are not projects that pay. So that's where we're at. And who knows if I'll actually do my hair today. I put on real clothes, so that's something. And to address the other question, where are my glasses? I got contacts earlier this week. What a great time to be touching my eyes a whole bunch to learn how to put them in and take them out. Obviously I wash my hands really well before I touch my eyes, but still, not a great time to have to be touching my eyes. But they're my only correct prescription because I can't get my new prescription glasses until at least April 12th. So being forced to learn how to use contacts. All right, some of y'all know that I do intermittent fasting. So this morning, the only thing I have had to drink is coffee. black cup of coffee made in my French press. And yesterday we ran out of curry leftovers that we've been having for lunch, so we'll see what I end up making for lunch. All right, I'm gonna do some computer work to try and up the quality of my YouTube videos because what else am I gonna do during this time? And I will check back with y'all when I have my first meal. Real quick, I also wanted to show y'all what supplements I take in a day. First thing in the morning, I usually take Ritual. Not sponsored, but I'd love it if they would. Um, it has iron, vitamin D, B12, just a few of the essentials, especially the B12 since I am vegan. And then I also take a probiotic. I've recently started taking that for some specific health reasons, we're gonna see if it helps me. I'm not taking them related to my gut, I don't really have any gut issues, I'm taking them for another reason um, that I'm not gonna talk about. And I take both of those in the morning, and then at night, while I'm getting ready for bed, I take one of these hemp extract CBD soft gels. They are vegan, they are not made out of gelatin. I usually take that to help me wind down, help me relax, and help me sleep have a good night's sleep throughout the night. Um, I will also take CBD drops. I should have grabbed that bottle to show you. I'll show you that in a minute. I take CBD drops when my anxiety gets really bad. So I've been doing that quite often over the last week as this pandemic has been getting worse because my anxiety has been off the charts and I've been having panic attacks. So. I take CBD oil to help me calm down and relax, and it's been hugely helpful. Also, meditation and yoga, those things help too, but, but if you want something that you can take to immediately help you relax, CBD has been wonderful for me. This is the CBD extract we have right now. My boyfriend picked it up when he was in Las Vegas a while back. We're actually almost out but they do sell like little droplets like this at the farmer's market. So whenever we run out of this, I will probably just pick some up there. And we also have strawberry. The other one was unflavored, this one's strawberry flavored. Okay, so it's about 12.30. Usually I would eat starting at around noon, but I just finished doing yoga. So I'm gonna make a smoothie and I'm gonna make my boyfriend some vegan chicken nuggets because that's what he wants for lunch. <laughs> and yeah, that'll be what I'm having for lunch.
Made smoothie for lunch. May have made it a little too thick. Hold on. Should have made it as a smoothie bowl. There we go. Went old school today. Classic. Classic banana strawberry peanut butter flavor. Because you know what? We need all the home comfort we can right now to take my mind off things. And then my boyfriend's chicken nuggets over here. I'm probably gonna steal one or two. Not the healthiest thing, but I got a whole smoothie over here. And I'll check back with y'all later when I probably have a snack. I don't know if I'll have a snack before dinner. It depends on how filling the smoothie is and how many chicken nuggets I steal. <laughs> My boyfriend wanted a little basmati with his chicken. So I'm probably gonna eat a little bit as a little snacky as well. Pink rice Buddha bowls for dinner tonight. black lentils, lettuce, cabbage, carrots, pickled red onions, avocado, tahini sauce, and hemp seeds. Food bowls to stay healthy during this hard time and I need all the fresh food that I can get right now. So this is our dinner. Oh my god. What? 
bed, hot. So hot. I just got myself on camera burning my face. I need to let that cool down a second. Editing Lilith here. I forgot to film an outro for this video. So I did try the tea after it cooled down and I think I put just a little bit too much cayenne in it, but it was really good and it was supposed to be an immune boosting tea, lemon, ginger, and cayenne. And I would have put green tea in it as well, but I didn't want the caffeine because it was really late at night and I would have put mint leaves in it, but I didn't have any mint. But now I have a mint plant, so I can put mint leaves in whatever I want. I'll be planting my herb garden really soon and hopefully I'll film that. And this is the first time I'm filming on my phone. I got a new, uh, whatever the phone is with the three cameras, I don't remember the name, but I got one because my old phone was an SE and it kept crapping out. So I finally gave in and got a new phone. We'll see how the camera quality is. I have to say also that bootable was probably the best bootable I've ever made. The sauce and the pink rice was just so tasty and I'm, so happy with how it turned out. I've been doing bootables about twice a week the last few weeks just to make sure we're still getting, just to make sure we're getting lots of veggies and staying as healthy as we can during this time. And all the time, but especially right now. So make sure you're taking care of yourself, wash your hands, eat good, healthy food, and I'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like this video if you liked it. Subscribe for more food inspiration and recipes and stuff like that. And share this video so that we can feel like we're together while we're apart in quarantine. And thank you guys so much for watching. I am the Vegan Rainbow. Bye y'all.